Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing well. It's almost Thanksgiving break. Um, so I'm so excited <laughs> to eat some food and not go to class. <laughs> I've been up to lots of fun things, also lots of not fun things. And you'll see that in this video. Um, I had the opportunity to work on a short film with my good friend Kyla. Shout out Kyla, shout out to all of the film majors. Um, they're really cool. I got to be the art director, so I got to pick out the costuming and set up props. Um, so it was a really fun opportunity for me because I'm really passionate about film, but I don't usually get the chance to like be on set. And I've never had an experience where like, I'm a part of an actual production. So that was really cool. And then also, um, I've just been doing some very tedious, difficult projects. Um, and they are really testing my patience, really testing my craftsmanship. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just let you watch. Um, feels really good. We run on time, we run smooth. Hannah gets here, safe and sound, in one piece. I, I hope the scenes look good. I hope the actors are comfortable. I hope everyone recognizes that I'm the best director they've ever worked with. And This is gonna be historical footage when you're famous one day and making movies. I mean, definitely. Cause Wait, switch with me. Let me see right your now, hat. I'm trying to just make it like softer, but I don't know if that's really doing anything. No, I think it was a good place for me to grow up. Like, I don't think I'd be come where I am without it, but also like... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's, it's like XF it's, it's a short scene, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Did we... Remember we needed to decide how close these blinds? Um... You just pulled out. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I was, uh, I I was prop master for Ooh. our high school production. Oh. I imagine there was a time when it just felt so good to taste something that was old and dusty and homemade and crappy looking and replace it with Helvetica. To give it a better name because Neue Haas Grotesque uh, didn't sound very good for a... Uh, uh, ...and thrilling that was. That must have seemed like you had you would crawled through a desert with your mouth just caked with filthy dust, and then someone's offering you a clear, refreshing, distilled, icy glass of water to kind of clear away all this uh, uh, horrible kind of like um, burden of a... Uh... It is a Thursday. I'm having a horrible day. I'm having a day where nothing goes right. Uh, no matter how hard I try, no matter how prepared I am, everything's kind of um, going not the way I want it to. I decided to just take my anger out on this project <laughs> that I'm working on. Uh, I'm making what's called a tessellation. So all of these little wooden pieces that I've made 
on a bandsaw all have to be identical and fit together perfectly and create like a little puzzle. I have never worked with a saw before, so it's not going well. I'm like vigorously sanding down all of these pieces so that they'll like maybe fit together. Um, it's so hard to measure like what this angle is and how they fit in together without a protractor. Um, so that was mistake number one. Mistake number two, I just wanted to do a cool shape, you know? I didn't want to just do like a square. I'm doing this like little seven, this little seven figure. We are making do. This is the kind of not glorious side of going to art school is you have to be really prepared for very tedious work. So I will update you. <sighs> Wish me luck. Howdy y'all. It's, what day is it today? It's Wednesday. Is it? Yeah, it's Wednesday. <gasps> Wait, my rent is due. Like I was saying, it's Wednesday and I am still working on this time sucking, kind of soul crushing project where I have to make 12 identical modules that will all fit together. Um, it's going well. It's going better than the last time that I checked in with this project. Um, but now I need to like sit and sand these down for like three hours um, and make them all perfect to each other. Um, but we are not doing too shabby. I also have like, mm, maybe 20 of these because I keep sanding them down too small and then I can't use them. Cause I can like fix them if they're too big and sand them down, but I can't do anything if they're too small. Like this one, what's going on there? That doesn't look. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, wait. We have, I'm like hoarding sandpaper. Um, so, you know, I should probably wear like a mask or something while I'm doing this because I really don't want to inhale any of this super fine dust. I don't want sawdust in my lungs. So this is the very fine sandpaper. That's what's gonna make it like nice and shiny. And then I also have like this rough sandpaper and that'll help me like really get a lot of material down. And then, yeah, yeah, cool. I'm gonna get my mask. Thank you.